Welcome back to Country Homestead, part three of the sawmill shed. We're trying to finish up the front half of the sawmill shed. In this video, we'll be showing you us finishing it and putting the roof on it and actually start cutting a little bit of wood for the front porch. Here you see me on the roof. I'm starting to burn all the slats and the rafters and everything that's not burnt, like the back beam and the front beam. We're getting them all burnt, getting it ready to do our treatment to it. Here's my wife, she's down here on the bottom half, burning underneath it when I got all the top. She's a little taller than I am, so she uh, she can reach a little better. I'm short. That blowtorch we're using is actually a homemade blowtorch. My dad had a friend that made it for him, and, and uh, I took the short hose off of it, and I actually put one of my half-inch airline hoses on it, and I took the fittings off and just screwed it straight to it, and I had a 50-foot hose on it, so... Uh, we can pretty well reach all we wanted. And here we're doing the 50-50 the fuel and oil treatment. I got it on pump-up sprayer and uh, <clears throat> spraying it all down, letting it soak in. Here we're preparing to, to get the tin up on top. It uh, We just got 11 sheets there because I, my roof's actually 33 feet long. The coverage, uh, the posts are 30 foot on the inside, but uh, we just put it on the tractor and lift it up there and me and my wife will get up there and start spreading it out. Now when we start laying this tin out, I pretty well only put a few screws in it just to hold it down so the wind don't take it and we get it all spread out so we know that we got it even and it all laid out right across the top of the shed because you know you never want to start screwing your your roof down and get to the end and realize you got a half a sheet off or so you know so we, we uh just put a few screws in it and again my wife's up there on top she's walking them them slats she's doing an excellent job and uh this tin had a good friend that gave us all this tin. It came off of one of his barns that he was tearing down and asked us if we wanted it. And I tell you, that right there was a blessing. We uh, we got 33 sheets of, uh, no, 32 sheets, I'm sorry, of 17-foot tin. That's a century drain. And, you know, I mean, that right there was a, a big help. And here we're getting close to the end. We'll uh, if we can get this last look sheet of tin. You'll see how we'll be on the other side of it and lay it down there. And I mean, it had all laid out perfect. I mean, it was it fit real good. 
So after that, my brother-in-law gets up there with us, and we're going to start screwing her down completely. He starts lapping all the seams while me and my wife put all the screws in the, uh, the... We tried to hit all the old holes and, you know, screw it down, but some of them just didn't line up right. So we'll have to do a little siliconing, but still, silicones are way cheaper than, than uh, buying new tin. Still got a little daylight, so we we start doing a little resawing. We got some posts that we left over that six by six, and we start sawing them down, making some four by fours and some four by sixes and some two by fours, so we can start on our front porch. And that's actually what we start the next day, and that's going to be the next series of videos is uh, our front porch build. supports in on the long 32 foot beams right here you got them in the back now I'm not putting my supports in yet for the uh, front to back beam it's coming later 
There's the good old 122 Woodland Mill sawmill. Really impressed with it. We got all our wood burned. And we also got it treated with a diesel and oil mix 50 50. There's the back beam. Now, this here is the front part of the shed, and the, we're going to build another back part that's going to be another 15 by 30 coming off the back side that's going to cover all this back here. Two by sixes on there now. We're finna resaw. I need a little two by four, so we're gonna take some of the bad, rough egg edge ones and saw them down and start working on that front porch of our house as we're gonna stay cutting for the back part of the shed. You can see my plates, how I did them. And again, we had a good weekend here. We uh, we got a lot of work accomplished, and uh, just wanted to say thanks to all the family that was there that that helped us out and that uh, helping us on this journey to to get all of it done. We really appreciate it, and we appreciate y'all taking your time to watch these videos. And if you would like and subscribe, we want to see if we can get this little channel going pretty good. Thank you for your time.